Um, we were just sound asleep one night and heard a really loud crash. I didn't know there was somebody was breaking in, a closet shelf had fallen down. We didn't know it was really loud. We both jumped straight up out of bed. It was four in the morning. But it wasn't a burglar. To the Wasserman's surprise, they found their dining room table shattered. It wasn't like a crack or something like, I mean, the entire thing split into 10,000 little pieces of glass. They picked up the pieces. That corner of the room now empty. But the Wassermans want to know how this happened. If you looked where the pieces landed on the chair, they shot out. If one of us had been in the chair, we would have had shards of glass in us. They contacted the manufacturer of the table, Cramco Incorporated. Cramco sent this email stating, to enhance consumer safety, the glass tabletop used in the Sumner table is tempered glass, commonly known as safety glass. Tempered glass is stronger and safer than regular float glass, but is not invulnerable. So is it safer? We asked the Consumer Product Safety Commission. In a recent year, an estimated 20,700 injuries associated with glass tables were seen in emergency departments. They went on to say CPSC takes all incidents involving shattering glass seriously. That's amazing. I had no idea. That's a lot. The Wassermans say they also reached out to rooms to go where they bought the table two and a half years ago. Every time I got the same remark, which was it's out of warranty on glass tables. So 10 investigates gave the company a call. I mean, you've got a pretty interesting phone call email. Yeah, on Friday, just out of the blue. Marcy was told she would be getting a full refund for her table and chairs. How much money do you think it was about? It was about $900. Marcy says she won't be getting another glass table. Instead, she's opting for one that has no chance of exploding and ending up in thousands of little pieces on her dining room floor. Yeah, I'm thrilled with everything you guys have done. I'm, I, I know it wouldn't have happened without you all. And the CPSC tells me that there are standards in place for consumers who use glass products. So if the glass does break, it breaks into those nuggets and not shards. If you've had a glass table shatter, guys, the CPSC wants to hear about it. Report it to them. You can find that info right now at 10tampabay.com. That sound will make anyone jump. I can't, I can't imagine what it's like to just have that table shatter like that. And a recall hasn't even been issued for that glass table. But what leads to a recall? Let's take a deeper dive. The Consumer Product Safety Commission lists a handful of reasons. That includes a pattern of defects, stuff like design issues, the number of defective products sent out, the severity of risk involved if the defect happens, and the likelihood it could hurt someone. Now, you can find a link to the full handbook along with this story at 10tampabay.com.